Welcome to Inside Expect, and I'm with Richie. We're, re we're going to do a quick preview of Wednesday night's main games in the Premier League and Serie A. Richie, I'm going to start with uh, Birmingham City against mm. Man City. Yeah. On the 90 minute betting, Birmingham 405, the draw 340, and Man City 190. Mm. Um, how do you see this one? Yeah, Man City have got a few injuries. Uh, Tevez missed the Notts County FA Cup game where they struggled actually, didn't they? they that did. Zeko, I that Zeko goal. I watched it, yeah. They equalised it. So Tevez had a bad back, so maybe he comes back. 14 goals he scored. The next top scorer is Balotelli with mm -hmm. five goals. He's definitely out. Yeah. He scored that hat trick against Villa, remember? Yes. And Andy Johnson on the wing, he's out as well. Yeah. So Birmingham will fancy their chances here. They drew 0 0 at the Blue Camp <laughs> earlier in the season. <laughs> did. And it was 0 0 in this fixture last, uh, last year. Yeah. And of course, they've been buoyed by this. Wembley appearance, yeah, uh, yeah. unfortunately well, they against got, your they got, boys. They got lucky against West Ham in the yeah. semi-final, that's right. So, you know, they'll, they'll be on a high from there and, um, yeah, I, I, I fancy Birmingham at 4.05, it's not a bad price. I mean. Well, both teams have got an awful lot to play yeah. for here. Birmingham, obviously, because they're scrapping to avoid relegation and Man City because they want to keep up with Man United. Yeah. So, do you have a bet in this game that there's something? Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, you could back the, the 1x. Yeah, you know, well, that'd, that'd be about even money or something like that. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad bet. So, um, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd go for that. So, with that double chance, you'd have Birmingham and the draw um, yeah. on your side. Well, moving on to another intriguing game that kicks off at 2100 CET, Blackpool um, against uh, the mighty West Ham United, and the 90-minute betting here is Blackpool 225, 335 the draw, and the Hammers 305. Um, my feelings are always very hard to Negative. gauge on West Ham, so I'm going to go to someone neutral, Richie. Well, it was nil nil, nil at Upton Park, mm. and um, I don't know. They, they've they've held on to Charlie Adam at the the last last gas, wasn't it? Spurs uh, put in, yes. Spurs put in the bin. Yeah, just the paper. And they've held on down. to him. Yeah. And you know they've upset so many people, Blackpool. You know, in in the league. And you wonder if it's upset them and sort of. The momentum within their own team, really, with that. Well, right? no, I think you they'll, they'll, they'll kick on and yeah. Holloway keeps them going. Yeah. You look at these goal scorers DJ Campbell, eight goals, Charlie Adam, four goals, yeah. Harwood, five goals, yes. Varney, five goals, yeah. all over the park. Your top scorer, Picarney, yes. six goals. Yes. They, they can hit you from anywhere, Blackpool. And listen, they were 2 10 against Sunderland. Yeah. Now, why on earth are they 225 against West Ham? Well, I suspect it's just the, the arrival of a few the key signings for West you've Ham. Got a, you've got a few, but yeah. they're old boys, aren't they? Um, they Keane. are, I still think Keane's capable They can of, do a job. I hope they do, anyway. I would say that West Ham have got a sort of history of managing to get some fairly inspired transfer window signings mm. and um, going back away with John Hartson and yeah. Paul Kitts. And, yeah. Um, so we're, we're not called the Houdini Hammers without a reason, Richie. But where Birmingham were buoyed and will kick on from Man City, maybe West Ham will have a bit of a hangover. I, I really do fancy Blackpool here. My biggest worry here with West Ham is their inability to hold on to any sort of a lead. Yeah. And it's been a common theme throughout the season. The nerves yeah. kick in. Yeah. The minute West Ham take the lead, the nerves kick in. They sit back and unfortunately play into their opponent's hands. But of course Blackpool lost a good lead, didn't they? They were 2-0 up against Man United. I think I'd go for the draw there, but anyway, the other one kicking off simultaneously at the same time at Craven Cottage, another really interesting game, Fulham mm. against Newcastle. Fulham 2.05, the draw 3.30 and Newcastle 3.60. How do you see this one, Richard? Yeah, well of course the big news here is the loss of Andy Carroll. Yeah. Uh, he was injured anyway, but uh, you know, they'll be downbeat at Newcastle. You know, no players coming in and yeah. you know, he was 11 goals, all right, they've got 35 million, but it doesn't bode well, does it? Well, it's official now, they are a, a selling club, yeah, and that's yeah, what it says, yeah. unfortunately. I mean, they are, Newcastle are unbeaten in the last four games, but of course they had, they had the loss yeah. to Stevenage as well, didn't they? And uh, Fulham on the back of that thumping of Spurs, Which four was now. unbelievable, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really yeah. good. But do you think Fulham are a little bit short at 2.05? Um, yeah. Would you be lumping on Fulham at 205? No, they're not a team I can, you can trust. I mean, they do no. draw an awful lot of games. Yeah. They are the fourth best team at coming back when they're behind. Yeah. You know, they've gained nine points from being behind. So right. you have that, I've got that fighting spirit. But they are 17 from giving points away. Yeah. You know, when they've taken the lead, yeah. you know, they have let it slip. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a dodgy one. I'd I just, I just be watching that so one. So have you, you've got no sort of bets for that? No one, real, really? no real, yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't trust any of them teams. No, they're all going to be edgy games, aren't they? Because yeah. all of these teams have got plenty of um, 
want and desperate for points for yes. different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And then in, in the Serie A, there's a very interesting fixture that night, Kievo, who are entertaining Napoli, and the 90-minute betting is Kievo 305, the draw 305, and Napoli 240, and Napoli obviously challenging for the title. How do you see Indeed, this yeah. uh, going? And they're challenging with this guy Cavani. Yeah. He scored 17 goals. He scored five goals in the last four. And he hit a hat trick against Sampdoria the weekend. Yeah. Uh, backed up by Hamsic. He scored eight goals. Um, but Kiever, they got Pelsilia. He's He scored 10 goals. And they do not lose points. If they score, if they score first, yeah. they win. Good. They, they yeah. do not, they've only done it four times that they've scored first. Yeah. But whenever they do. So watch, watch out there, Napoli. But if, not, you know, Napoli, they're well, well up there. They've gained nine points from when they've been behind as well. So they've got a bit of fighting spirit. Yeah. You've got to fancy Napoli here. You fancy Kievo Napoli, mid table yeah. and Napoli really pushing hard. Yeah. I fancy them too forward. Okay, so amongst those four games, where would your, your best bet of the evening come? Yeah, my best bet, I'm going with the Seasiders, Holloway's boys, Charlie Adam, 225. Oh. Big price, I'm afraid. Richie, how could you do this to me? I'm going with. Um, I'm going with West Ham, but I have to, don't I? <laughs> anyway, Absolutely. stop I, laughing, I'll, please. I'll lay that. So anyway, that's, that's it, all the action, and it's all going to be available in play at uh, Expect. Lots of markets for you to get sunk in, to, to get your teeth into there. And Richie and I will be back later in the week where we'll be previewing the not only the football, Richie, but that massive event, the Super Bowl. Yes, indeed. indeed. So plenty to look forward to. So until next time, it's goodbye from Richie and I, and good luck with all your betting. Best of luck.